Hey everyone, it's Simon. Just going to give you a quick tutorial as to how to install your expansion for your PS4, which I've just recently done. I plumped for the Seagate, hashtag not sponsored, but I couldn't find an 8 tetrabyte hard disk drive that didn't include a hub, um, because hubs aren't recognised in the PS4 round. But when you install it in through one of your front USB ports, you get that notification that you just saw there. And when you click on that notification, it allows you to install applications on your hub. But in order for that to happen, you need to format it as extended storage um, so that the actual PlayStation 4 can recognise it. So these are just the screens that you go through when you do that. Obviously, if you're using a hard disk that you've already got stuff on, you need to back that stuff up somewhere because whenever you format anything, naturally it's a blank sheet. So everything gets erased off as it warns you and gives you fair warning uh, in advance there. So what you want to do, once it's all clear, if it were a brand fresh one, just stick it in and off you go. Click on to format and once that's done, you will have da -da, an extended storage or expansion desk, depending on what it's called, uh, to play with. So when you do go onto that, see I started off with a 5 tetrabyte, it's really 4.6 is what you get to play with. Uh, and when you click onto that, the PS4 automatically will always say, I'm going to save everything on this extended storage. But if you're going to have that unplugged or if you want to move stuff about, you need to click on stop using this extended storage so that it doesn't default to that in the future. The next thing I wanted to do was to move stuff over from my system storage to extended. So go into your storage options from main menu, select what you've got in your system storage. Uh, and my advice to you is to click on options, hit move to extended storage and it will bring up this wonderful menu for you to then go through and click everything and transfer it all across. Now it does take a while for it to do it, so I had uh, 500 gig um, practically of stuff, so it took about mm, 90 minutes to transfer it all over. But touch wood, so if, it's, if it's all plugged in and it's working fine, I've not had any problems. Um, and I'm really happy and I can finally play games without having to download it and take ages and everything. It's great. So yeah, I fully recommend it if you've got a massive games library on your PS4. Go this route. Thanks for watching. Bye!